latest update on Invest 91S, which is located in the western part of the South Indian Ocean Basin, not far from some of the Seychelles Islands. It currently has winds of 30 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,002 millibars as of 8 p.m. Mauritius time this December the 4th. Uh, we are expecting a landfall in Soalala in Madagascar on December the 9th according to latest model projections. That could shift and so could the storm's intensity and projected impact. At the moment we're only looking at stage 1 on the CDPS because we expect that the storm will weaken before landfall in Madagascar. Here it is right now though, 5.7 degrees south, 51.5 degrees east. Currently with winds of 30 miles per hour as said, um, supported by ASCAP passes earlier on today. It's 119 miles from Alfonso Island, 146 from Desroches, 279 from Victoria, the capital of the Seychelles, 480 from Antisirinana in Madagascar and 495 from the Glorioso Islands. There are two systems out there right now, the other one is further east, not far from Diego Garcia. No warnings are in effect for either of these systems, both potential cyclones and both will probably become tropical cyclones in the next five days. This is the expected rainfall expectations for these two systems, which we can look at both of them on this screen. Watch 91S on the left hand side as it comes onto the map from the northern part at the edge of the screen. You can also see Invest 92S there projecting his rainfall north of um, the Masserine Islands and it looks like it'll do a recurvature and really die off before it reaches Rodrigues and then you've got on the left hand side now as we get towards day five six seven the effects in Madagascar possible landfall there as a tropical storm with rainfall amounts exceeding 75 millimeters which is the pink zones there on that rather glitchy imagery Sea surface temperatures though are fairly warm for both of these two cyclones, at least initially, 28 degrees plus up to 30 degrees near the Madagascar coast. Um, and for 91S it's probably going to have more favourable conditions than 92S, which is why some models are predicting a significant cyclone. Nonetheless, here are both of the systems here, both tropical storms at least, the green spots on the map there. Um, 92S dies off well north of Rodrigues by the end of the week. 91S continues there, a renewed strengthening phase there off the coast of Madagascar by the end of the weekend, probably striking the coast there on the western side and then moving inland. Some models even indicating that it will regenerate off the southern coast later on in the forecast period. But these are the chances of tropical storm force winds right now. 60% at Astove Atoll, 55% at Glorioso, 35% at Ansiranana, and 20% at Mahajanga. That, though, is beyond the five-day period, which is what those percentages are indicating. Just the next five days there. The expect expectations for the models, the HWRF going out on a limb calling for a Category 3 out of this system. Uh, other models aren't really saying that at all, uh, maximums really of Category 1, although wind shear will be fairly low, 10 to 15 knots, low to moderate. Sea surface temperatures are very warm all the way up to its potential landfall, relative humidity not looking so bad. So all of the ingredients are really there for a potential strengthening phase. Here are both of the two cyclones right now, visible imagery from earlier today. 91S certainly appears to look better on the visible imagery and we look at infrared now, you can see that 91S has probably got a better spin to it and looks like that one might form first, but both of them will probably form in pretty short order. Um, and 91S verified by ASCAT earlier, 30 mile per hour winds and those will probably begin to increase in the next 24 hours. It's certainly what the models are expecting and we'll keep on top of both of these two systems as they develop this week. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already, you may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. 
You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.